Uh, guys, this is Brett McGowan, buyer creator of Changeling, and head of PR and community outreach over at the Metaverse. And I am bringing you guys a little review of the Clayman comic I backed on Indiegogo that was done by my buddy Robert Pisco, whom everyone knows as Claylex. And I'm sticking with Clay because that's how I know him too. Yep. Clay and I, we go back at quite a few years, and he was he was there at the first Mythoverse Kickstarter, and so like I couldn't not not back his Indiegogo for this, which collects these two side stories for Clay Man. Uh, this one. and what's interesting, what's actually really neat about this comic is that it's I don't know what they call this, but it's like it's two stories, but you flip it over, like. This is kind of like this is how it works. Like it's, it's this little side story at a convenience store, and this crossover he did with uh, Nick Mueller's Demon Hunter Raven. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the industry jargon for what type of comic this is. I just know, I just remember that this is a thing that they, thing that they do. So they'll smash two stories together in one, one floppy, but one of the, and flip one of the, one of them over. Uh, yeah, only uh, I'll just say right off the bat, I liked both stories. They were short, sweet, and to the point. Couldn't really find anything I had an issue with. But I'll go into the more specifics about what I liked about them specifically, but uh, do want to get one thing, one little thing I noticed. This it probably doesn't show up that well on my on my phone's camera, but uh, this cover on this is not is a lower res compared to this one. When when it's uh might have just been the file size was smaller or anything. It doesn't honestly it do, it doesn't hurt either store or that much, but I do think it kind of it does detract from the presentation a little bit, but not enough enough to completely write it off like it's just, like, let me put it this way. If this is the one flaw I can actually find in the entire comic, that tells you just how good the rest of it is. But yes. Yeah, between the two, though, I definitely like the, uh... Let's see. No, it didn't. This one didn't get a title. This one doesn't have a title. I'll just say... I liked the convenience store or, or story the or better than the crossover. And that was just because of just how not serious it took itself like it knew exactly what it was it was a goofy little side story where, where uh clayman heads out to the heads out to a convenience store to get some snacks and then there's a robbery in progress and of course everything goes goes wrong wrong and he and of course being the hero he's got to had to get himself out of trouble i really liked this part Art. I mean, like, you cannot go wrong doing a Groucho Marx joke. Yeah. And honestly, that's the strongest aspect of both stories is the dialogue. Look, like, Clay is really good at, at crafting dialogue that is actually very clever, witty, and funny. I mean, he, like, he tells good jokes. Thanks. Now, as for the Clayman Demon Hunter Raven crossover... We don't know how these two are together, and guess what? We don't need to. Not important. We just need to see them get in, into a fight, and that's the that's the main draw here. Here, and it delivers on that. that it knows exactly what you came for, and, and it delivers that. Three guesses what that's an homage to. Yeah. But yeah, nothing to nothing to say except that I liked. Ooh, sorry about that. Nothing except to say I liked both stories. The art was really good in both. Both Chenlin Zhao's Zhao's uh, artwork, work and coloring for the for the convenience store story, very cartoony. Very sold them sold kind of the madcap, madcap more comedic, comedic style of the story. 
right really well and especially when it made it very cartoony with many with adding some facial expressions to clay layman's mask and uh nick and the demon hunter on a raven crossover yeah honestly like a yeah nick mueller nick mueller's uh Miller's line work is really good like guy's got a nut guy's got a knack for action and it was, it's no wonder the no wonder these two teamed up. So yeah, the only legitimate flaw I can find is just a low res cover. Everything else, Clay knocked it out of the park. You did good, my dude.